The other day I was wasting my time on Reddit when I came across this awesome PS1 style rendering by Leon Leon. And in the comments they explained that the text was not made in Blender, but instead added afterwards in After Effects. And yeah, that makes sense. Working with text in Blender is pretty tedious. Or at least it used to be. Because with geometry nodes we can very easily create this kind of dialogue text. Even with multiple sentences. First, add a plane. So we have something to add the geometry nodes modifier to. Then head over to the geometry nodes workspace. And press new to add a new node tree. Let's start by creating a box for the text. Add two quadrilateral nodes from the curve primitives. And a curve to mesh node. Connect the first quadrilateral through the curve socket. This will be the actual box, and we can adjust the width and height of it. Connect the second quadrilateral to the profile curve socket. This will give the frame of the box some thickness, and we can adjust the thickness with the width value. Finally, add a join geometry node. Now that we have a text box, let's add some text. Add a string node, a string to curves node, and a fill curve node. Add some text in the empty field of the string node. Then connect it to the string socket of the string to curves node. Finally, connect the string to curves node to the fill curve node. Then connect that node to the yarn geometry node. The yarn geometry node just allows us to view multiple meshes and geometries simultaneously. I will keep the settings of the string to curves node mostly as they are and only decrease the size. And set the alignment to center. The alignment essentially determines the origin of the text and it will be the point from where the text will appear. To create a gradual text reveal, add a slice string node before the string to curves node. This node takes a string as input and outputs a new string with the number of letters specified by the length value. So by animating the length value, we can reveal the text letter by letter. To make it easier to animate, we can connect the length socket to an empty socket of the group input. That way, we have access to the value out here in the modifiers tab. Okay, let's animate this thing. Go to frame 1. Make sure that the length value is 0. Then hover the mouse over the value and press I. This will add a keyframe for the value on frame 1. Next, go to a frame where you want the text to be fully revealed, frame 30 in my case, and increase the length value until the entire text is visible. Then hover the mouse over the value and press I like before to create a keyframe for the value on frame 30. And that's it. If we press play on the timeline, the text will appear one letter at a time. But what if we want to display more than one sentence? Luckily, we can add that functionality pretty easily, with a switch node set to string after the string node. If we connect another string node to the true socket of the switch node, we can switch between the connected strings by enabling and disabling the switch checkbox. So whenever we want to display the next sentence, we just need to keyframe the length value back to zero, keyframe the switch value to one, and repeat the animation process from before. And if more strings are needed, we can just add more switch nodes. And that's pretty much all there is to it, so go out there and make some text boxes. See you next time.